Okay, so um, now we're going to uh, extend this example to into three three dimensions, uh, just just because we can. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a point here and have it be uh, in three dimensions. Uh -oh not on the, the plane, the XY plane. So with that point I'm going to uh, set one point, I'm going to put it into the vector. Uh, if, let's try this. So yeah, so here's something that I, I've noticed is that if you put a point directly in to um, a place where you want a vector, then it bugs out, but if you pass it through a vector, then it reads okay. And so because this is, I think it's because uh, this is a reference point, and then if you look at the vector, you get uh, a vector. So if, uh, if this is going in, it doesn't make sense, I guess. Um, I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, we'll do that. And so now our velocity uh, is in three dimensions. Um, it's not on the XY plane. And what we can do is we can just copy this straight down and change out all the ones for twos. Oops. Um, let's test this. So, so you can see it going in three dimensions and working just fine uh, but uh, what I don't like about it is uh, we have this code copied three times and we've just uh, changed uh, the numbers so instead of doing that we can do a for loop and for index i in range uh, three we can tab this over, tab this over, and say I and I and I. So let's test that. Yeah. So it's the same thing, except I think a little bit more, uh, a little bit more clear. And this way we can use this uh, kind of concept because we're going to have to do later, we'll be doing a lot more. And so, you know, having this is easier than typing out or typing out one and then changing all the, the eyes and so. Yeah, so this is uh, basically 3D bouncing ball with vectors.